Straining cocktails correctly can make all the difference between the professionalism of the cocktails that you're making at home. For example, when we shake a cocktail, the cocktail ends up here in the tin, we always use a hawthorn strainer that goes on top of the tin with our finger to keep it in place. Now, when we go to strain the cocktail, always over fresh ice in a rocks glass like so. And it's a simple pour over the ice, keeping your finger tight on the strainer, you're actually pushing the spiral towards the edge of the tin that'll make sure that the ice keeps inside the glass. So this is straining over a regular rocks kind of cocktail. Now, for example, if you were making a similar shaking cocktail but serving it up in a martini glass, then it's advisable to use two types of strainers. Again, the Hawthorne strainer goes on top of the tin with one finger to keep it in place. And then the other hand, use what we call a fine strainer. This goes over the martini glass to protect any unwanted smaller shards of ice that will slip through the gate, any pips of fruit, or any specks of mint that will be very unwanted if they end up in your teeth. So it really depends on what type of cocktail you're making, what ingredients you use, and ultimately what the end result is that you want. But once you understand how to correctly strain cocktails into the right glassware, the professionalism of your cocktail game will be raised for sure. <laughs>